I started fighting bulls in 1974. I used to ride bulls and I rode in high school and college and in the pros and as a bullfighter if you're doing your job you're going to get hurt. Bulls is the ultimate. It's like the extreme of the extreme. You know they talk about extreme sports. Bull riding is the extreme rodeo. Come on Rupert, get some enthusiasm out there. Cool riding time. On three, Julie Rostai, Toby Osborne, Casey Rowe. It's one of those things that a lot of people don't understand because they, they haven't done it. And it's just, it's just a rush. You're thinking about what does this bull do? And what have I got to do to ride him? What have I got to do to compensate for the moves he makes? And cowboys talk and cowboys learn what the bulls do. Brett. And, uh, Does he stand good in here? And so you, you know the patterns of the bulls. NBC News Channel 6 been with us all week covering the rodeo. We've had Channel 8 and Channel 3 here as well. We appreciate all of our local news media coverage of our high school rodeo. Idaho State Journal. Again, the Times News is here today covering the rodeo for us. So we'll welcome out to the Times News as well. Uh, it's just a great uh, family event where you can bring the family out. It's kind of a heritage here in the United States for uh, all of the cowboys who came west in the early part of the 1800s. Uh, rodeo just is basically born on ranch work, and that's where the foundation of rodeo comes. And we just kind of keep that heritage and that tradition going strong. Lance Reynolds, Wrangler All Star, out of Butte, District Number One. There you go. The cowboys uh, pay an entry fee if they don't if they don't win first, second, third, or fourth in most rodeos. They don't take home a dime. So. It's a total loss. I mean, football player gets paid in every game, no matter what. If it win, lose, or draw, they get paid. Uh, but one big change that's happened over the last 10 years is a lot of these cowboys now have sponsors. And that means that a company or a business gives them money for travel, money for uh, motel bills, money to for pay their entry fees in, in return for advertising for those people. And you'll see guys here uh, with vests on, with the logo on it, you know, and, and it's just like in other sports, they are, uh, you know, advertising. They're walking advertisements. I'm from uh, Lehigh, Utah. In Wendell, Idaho. I'm from Jerome, Idaho. Rodeo announcer for 11 years. I was in the bull riding. Well, I've raised bucking bulls. It's pretty cool when you can ride something that's really bucking really hard, you know, and they got that wild spirit, and for a few seconds, you're just part of them, you know, and it's just really cool when you can make the ride. The better you treat the animal, the more you're going to bring out his athletic ability. Well, they just sold one for $100,000, but I don't think I'll ever get that for one of mine. <laughs> Realistically, they're worth three to $5,000, something like that, for a decent bucking bull. When you come off a bull, you can get on my feet and get on the fence as fast as I can. Because a lot of the bulls will come after you. We do have a barrel in the middle of, middle of the arena, and sometimes the bull riders will come to the to the barrel to get away from the bull. But most of the time they'll try to get back to the buck and shoots or on the fence. I've actually had mothers come to me uh, and say, you know, I'm glad you're here because my son's riding a bull tonight and I trust you. And that's a good feeling, you know, that makes you feel good. That you're probably doing your job, you know. Oh yeah, I've seen uh, some pretty good injuries. I like playing with the bulls and if I can't ride them, I might as well play with them. But the thing about bull riding is it's not how uh, bad you'll get hurt, but if and when, and how bad, it's uh, inevitable, it's gonna happen. So hopefully luck is on your side. Well, about a year ago, I broke my leg. I broke my jaw. I've been hooked, stepped on, kicked, you name it. I've broken my collarbone. Kicked in this side of my jaw. The one with a broken pelvis. I had a bull step on that arm. I broke it here and here, and I sublocated my shoulder. I had uh, lacerations. I just crave it. Yeah, broke my femur right here, broke it in half, broken some ribs, you know. And it was pretty nasty. For the money, for the girls, the chicks, chicks take scars, chicks. If you get scaled, you're screwed. Fear cannot be a factor. If it is, you better not get on. I guess you gotta be aggressive. If you're scared, you won't ride. You don't have time to think. 
It's reaction. It's pretty intense. Be tough and be aggressive. It's a tough way to make a living. All about the money. <laughs> oh, hi. It's an adrenaline rush. It's an adrenaline rush. A lot of adrenaline rush. An adrenaline pumping deal. It's the biggest adrenaline rush that I get. And as we swing the gate closed, we're going to take you right to the bucket shoots. Get started this afternoon. Our first of our cowboys get things underway. They tie themselves in there basically. We call it a suicide rap. Slack it. Get over that front end, alright? It's man against beast and you got eight seconds. Be a soldier, dude. Ring of fire, the bucket bull. Tennessee Nick. Well, that sounds like a country oh, singer, doesn't it? Tennessee Let's Nick. go, bull man. Let's go. Women, money, and glory. Let's go. Let's go. Since I was in kindergarten, that's all I wanted to do was be a cowboy. And I think you got to do what you love doing, you know, and enjoy, enjoy what you're doing. 